Hello YouTube, welcome back to the flight deck. Uh, this time we're going to have a look at the starter procedure that you do in the Cessna 182. Uh, last time we did straight level, did a bit of climb, this time it's just going to be a startup. So uh, let's go through the checklist. I've had to make a few adjustments because if we open up, no, nope, not we open up the maintenance hangar, I've just had to repair the crankshaft, the oil pump. Um, and replace the battery. Also had to make adjustments to the flaps because they were damaged. Let's say my flying obviously wasn't great last time, but we're like new now, so we're all good. We're all good to go to get it started. Right, then. wrong time. <coughs> right, okay, so we just go outside. We've got the tie downs down. The pitot cover is on, and the wheel chocks are in place. So we can go ahead and take take them off, and if I keep pressing that wrong button, I'm going to punch myself in the face. Okay, so pitot cover off, tie downs on, we'll release the controls, and we'll put the handbrake on using control, period. <coughs> and that has removed the wheel chocks. Okay, back into the cabin. We got a checklist, Christ. Okay. Airplane weight and balance. So if we have a look at this fuel, pretty much the same 51% either side. I've got 51% overall fuel, 122 kilograms. There's me, 75 kilos, roughly. So the balance of the aircraft is absolutely fine. Parking brake set, we know that. Control wheel lock is removed. Ignition avionics are off. We're in a cold and dark state, so. Master switch. Okay, we'll turn that on. Check fuel quantity. Just done that. Enunciator panel. So we we'll test this now. Okay, so we know they're all working. Put it in day mode. Okay, so we've got warnings, pitch trim, oil pressure low, low vacuum pressure. That's fine. Fuel selectors set to both. Currently off. Spin this round. Onto both. Cow flaps are, I say close or open. Still new to this aircraft, right? They're closed, so we'll open this up. Cow flaps are now open. Flaps extended, master switch off. And we'll adjust the pitch trim on there. Right then, the walk around check. This is the next bit that we will do. Get rid of that. Okay, so press and hold. It's fine, checking condition and security. These have all just been replaced and you do see wear and tear on these as you fly the aircraft, which is pretty cool. Oops. In fact, whilst we're in here, what I have been taught to do when you're doing your walk around checks, put the master switch on want the beacon light, landing light, taxi light, nav light, strobe lights, all on and you can check those then when you're outside. Okay. We go here. Wingtip and lights. There we go, look. See, it says wingtip and lights, got check condition. I assume you've also got to check that they're working, surely. But it doesn't say that on the check sheet. Check for proper movement and security. Okay, so we can all see they're fine. Fuel tank vent opening, tie downs there released, still warning, is that that there, I assume so, check for damage, checking condition, disconnect tie downs, check for blockages, we've done all that, okay, on to the next bit, check for proper inflation and condition, remove wheel chop. So that's already been done. Examine tyre and tread depth and wear. Check for hydraulic leaks on the tyre downs on the tyre or pavement. Oh, we've got no leaks. We've this has just been serviced, so we know we're not gonna have any problems really. Fuel tank, sump and drain. Okay, here we go. There's no bits in that, there's no separation with water, so we know we're okay. Check visual visually for desired fuel level. So we should be halfway down the tank. OK, 
Okay, round to the front. Check oil level. Oil level's fine. It's at about eight and a half litres or so. Check for blockages. I'm not really sure what this is doing right now. Change your oil every 25 hours or four, four months, whichever comes first. Can extend to 40 hours if plane is flown daily. Don't let your engine sit for a long period of time with dirty black oil since acids form and it totally corrode the engine. This corrosion is simulated in AccuSim in real time, even when your computer is off. Okay, so there's a tip for you, isn't it? That's telling you straight away that if you don't fly this aircraft for four months, then when you log back in and you want to fly the aircraft, just give it a quick service, new oil, new plugs, all that sort of thing. Clear of obstruction, we know that air filter, check for restriction from debris. Nothing in there, is there? It's not like a, a pheasant's head hanging out of there. <laughs> check for damage and security. Again, we know it's fine. Drain, inspect. Again, no separation, no bits. Examine tire depth and hydraulic leaks. Check for blockages in there. We're fine. Checking fuel level in the right tank. We come to the front. Let me zoom out a bit here because we never looked at the lights, did we? We on that side. Yeah. Okay. We see the lights are working. Just have a quick visual inspection of the wingtip. That's fine. A few fly splats underneath the wing. We've just done that. Okay. Come out to here. Tie downs are off. Leading edge is absolutely fine. Check fuel tank vent opening. We're fine there too. Alright, looking here, nothing broken, everything looks fine. Get rid of that now. Lights working this side too. To the rear of the wing. Check for security and condition. Press and hold. We're fine. Nothing's broken in there. Quick look. Absolutely fine. Now to the back of the aircraft. Check the light on the top. That's working. Tire down is disconnected. Control surfaces check for movement. That's all fine. We've got a little bit of corrosion on this bottom right one here. That's something we need to keep an eye on. Everything's absolutely fine there. And there's no excess play. Alright then. Alright, let's jump back in the cockpit, shall we? We get rid of that. <coughs> Uh, there we go. Right. Okay then, let's hope this starts first time, shall we? Because it has been known that it doesn't. Alright, so we crack that. Let's just turn the masters off and all the lights and we know where we stand then, don't we? Okay. Throttle cracked mixture. In. Prop control is in. Master switch on. Beacon on. Cow flaps open, we've done that already. Fuel pump on. Set mixture rich, three or five seconds, idle cough. Okay. Right, fuel pump is off. Area clear. Quick look around. There's no one standing around that we can see, but we'll open the window and shout, Clear prop! And we didn't start. It's no surprise. Okay, we'll try again. And no start. Okay, we've got low pressure and low voltage, which might be partially why, because we had the lights on. And there we go. This is why I need a throttle quadrant where I can slowly ease that in as it starts. It's a lot harder when you've only got a joystick, but hello. Never mind, third time lucky. If we didn't start on the third time, we'd have to let it go, as otherwise we'd flood the engine. Okay, so now we can put nav lights on. Fuel flow, vacuum pressure is still low. Battery voltage is low, which is going to climb, obviously. Oil pressure is fine, which is here, it's in the green. Avionics can now come on. Ok, 
can retract the flaps. Everything is coming on as we speak. Turn that on. Um, we can turn this on. It's on standby. And that's how we start. Usually, and it's always obviously better if uh, if it starts first time. But we're up and running. That's all that matters. Okay, windscreen is now clear. Don't know if you noticed whilst we were running through the startup that um, it did steam up, which is pretty cool. Uh, and to unsteam it, you have your vents down here. Are they down there? There we go. Defrost. Turn that up. Turn that up. Oh, I never saw that before. <laughs> okay, we've got no circuit bores broken, so that's good news. Okay, so now we're in. We'll check. Doors, windows, closed. Right. Let's just make sure we've got everything we need on the flight controls here. Four left. Four right. Four back. Four forward. Left rudder, right rudder. Okay, we've got full movement. Okay, fuel quantity check. Left and right both reading pretty much identical. Mixture is in. Cow flaps are open. Run up checks. Now, obviously, you'd normally do this into the wind. Eighteen hundred RPM. And go to both here. That's left. That's right. And we've got a big drop on the left magneto there. We may have a problem here. It's a big drop on the left. Big drop. Okay, we'll back this off. Okay, so the maintenance we've done on this hasn't really improved it at all. And there's obviously something I'm missing here. <laughs> so we had more than 175 drop. It was massive. We'll just run it up again and we'll just have a, have a look. 1800. Left magneto there. Look, it's dropping all the way down to 1200 RPM. Right side's fine. Left side, not great. Okay, so I've been dealt with a problem that I've never dealt with before, so this is quite interesting. And for that reason, I'm going to end the video here, and anyone that watches this and knows what the problem is or how to fix it, please leave me a comment, because I don't have a clue. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Next time, we'll be up in the air again, whether it be in this or whether I do an actual larger tin flying somewhere. I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed. Take care.